my channel. It's me, Savannah Liddell. I've been missing for a couple of weeks, but I've just been going through a lot of personal stuff. So, yeah, I took a little break, but I'm back. Yeah! And it's officially December. So I have my Christmas tree. I have my little cheesy Christmas hat on. And I'm gonna just show you guys some things that I got on Black Friday and just different holiday sales. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Also hit that bell so that way you never miss another video. Ha ha ha, you know. I had to get on that Bath & Body Works store having $8 candles only for that day. And I was like, okay. But it was so packed, guys. It was just insane. Like, I'm surprised that I actually had the patience to like walk through. I got my candles and then I started standing in the line and it was like, all the way almost to the front door of the store and I was just like do I really want to stand here this long for some candles I don't know I got this one it's called power I really like the outside of it all I'm gonna say is all the candles that I got smell like a man I didn't really get any sweet smelling candles next one I got it's called baby it's cold outside so it's kind of like winter holiday themed and it just smells like to me, it just smells like cologne. And the next one I got, I really like the packaging on this. Um, this is, I think, a really popular one. It's called Mahogany Teakwood. Like, you know what it smells like? It smells like, uh, what's that place called? Uh, oh my God. It smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. You know how when you would walk in there, it's super dark and you just smell like cologne? Yeah, so it's my Ray Ray um, collab with BH Cosmetics and they made this palette, which I definitely had to support, not only because I, I love It's My Ray Ray, I've been watching her since she like first started here on YouTube, and I just think she's one of the most genuine YouTubers that I've ever seen. It's so rare that we see like makeup brands collabing with women of color. I see so many collabs all day long, but I rarely see brands collabing with women of color. I definitely wanted to support Ray. He used it on my eyes today. I did like a really neutral look, like you probably can barely tell I'm wearing anything. This is the palette. So it does come with a mirror, which is nice. 15 eyeshadow shades, and they look like this. Ten of them are actually uh, mattes. So the first two rows are mattes. And then the last row has some shimmer, which I think that's a good like balance. Not only do you get the eyeshadows, but you get three highlighter shades, which they're all pretty. Some contour and highlight shades down here. So I'm really excited. I'm actually wearing the contour today. I don't know if you can tell. I put French Toast as my highlight. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but I also did it on my nose. And then I put Moonlight as my inner corner highlight today. I just wanted to do a really basic look today. Um, since I'm wearing a red lip, I didn't want my the rest of my face to be like too crazy. Very excited to play around with this palette more. I'm actually gonna do a uh, review and a makeup tutorial using this palette. So yeah, I'm excited, so stay tuned for that. I purchased some things from Sephora. I needed like a gentle cleanser, like an everyday cleanser, and so I got Purity. I've been using this, I love it. It says a $36 value, so I guess normally this bottle is $36 and on the sale it was only 15 so I definitely wanted to take advantage of that. Also got a Glam Glow mask. I got the little mini because guys I don't know what it is and it's not that I don't have the money or anything but I just cannot bring myself to buy to spend what $70 on a mask like especially when I have a ton of masks sitting in my room I'm just like dude you need to use what you have and then splurge. So I ended up getting this little mini one. Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask, and I love this one, especially for this time of year, like fall slash winter. I get super dry. I do suffer from eczema. Whenever I need like extra hydration, I'll go ahead and just sleep in the mask. Next thing I got was from Ula Henriksen. So this is a skincare brand. It is exclusive to Sephora, um, unless they've changed. At least when I worked at Sephora, it was only sold at Sephora. This is the Transforming Walnut Scrub, and I love this stuff. It used to come in a jar, but they just recently like repackaged everything. This walnut scrub smells so good, y'all. I just like using it because it smells good. Like it smells 
amazing, but it also really does um, exfoliate your skin really well. And I definitely like to exfoliate in the winter because that's when you start getting the dry patches. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this skincare brand, but I absolutely love it. I love his serums. I love his moisturizers. Like, it's just an amazing brand. So don't sleep on Ula. Don't sleep on him. So definitely, oh, it's upside down. So definitely don't sleep on this brand. If you go to Sephora, ask for some samples and try this out because I think you guys would really love it. So next, I got the Stunna Lip Paint from Fenty. It's what I'm wearing today. It's supposed to be a universal red shade for everyone, and I really think it is. I think anyone can wear this. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. Okay guys, so next I got some stuff from ColourPop. I have never purchased anything from ColourPop, which is like, what? Like, what? Where are you being, girl? I don't know. Got the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I actually tried a few of these out, and I like them for the most part. Like, at first I was like, oh my gosh, like, these are awesome. Then I actually wore one for a day, and it did kind of make my lips look a little crusty, and it was kind of patchy. Like, when I after I drank, I noticed it was, like, patchy, um, and it didn't look the most appealing, but, but... Next time I do it, I'm definitely gonna exfoliate my lips and make sure I wear a lip balm under it and hopefully that helps it because I really like the colors. But this is what LAX looks like. So it's just like a pretty like deep, like brick red almost. Kind of got some brown in there. That's like my kind of colors. This is what Limbo looks like. Here's what Limbo looks like. This one is Mama and it's like more on the orange. It's like an orange brownish shade. This is what this looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. This one is Cloudscape. It's like, it's like a deeper brown, like a, a muted kind of deep brown. I don't know how to describe colors that well, but yeah. So that's what that looks like. This is what they all look like beside each other. Then I also wanted to go ahead and pick up the No Filter Concealer. So I did get that one, and I heard a lot of people talking about it when it first came out, but like after I didn't really hear anyone like say anything, it was kind of like, do y'all still like it or, or what? So I definitely wanted to give this a try for myself. Now I haven't actually tried it. This is what it looks like. I got it in the shade, and it's right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, that is the concealer, so hopefully it works out. I also got some two Super Shock shadows. My other one is missing somewhere, like I literally cannot find it, so I can't show you guys that one and I forgot the name of it, but I'll show you one of the ones that I got. So I got this one and it is called Coconut. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I was shocked at how pigmented, how buttery, everything felt. Now I haven't played with it on my actual eyes, but I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. So here is what it looks like. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Okay, so next thing I got was, um, I got a few things from Kylie Cosmetics, and this is another brand that I've never used before. She was having a really good sell on her um, lip products, so I decided to go ahead and try some out. A lot of the ones that I actually wanted were sold out, of course, but whatever. So I ended up getting two glosses. Um, I got Life and Candy K, and I love lip gloss. I'm really more of a lip, glo lip gloss girl, I've realized, so I know I'm gonna like these. So this is what Candy K looks like. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells really good. I like the way it smells. So this is Candy K. Hopefully, can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. And this is like, I think I can wear it like by itself because it's more on the brown side. It doesn't have as much like pink in it. So this is what like looks like. They're pretty thick, so they're not like a thin gloss. So it's pretty thick. So this is like right here. So this is what the glosses look like. I ended up getting just one of the matte liquid lipsticks. A lot of, again, a lot of the shades that I actually wanted were sold out, unfortunately. But I did get this one. It's called Brown Sugar. And it's just like a really like nude brown, so it's this one. That's what it looks like right here, if you can see it. <laughs> it's like awkward, my hand is so weird, but whatever. 
I also wanted to purchase something else from Kylie other than just the lip products. Okay, so yeah, next thing I got was a pressed blush powder from Kylie. Her packaging is like super cute. I gotta give it to her, like Kylie, your packaging is really, really cute, girl. So yeah, this is called Hot and Bothered. So it's just like this peachy blush. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. But yeah, it's like this pinky peach blush. And honestly, on the website, it looked more red, like not red, but it looks more like fiery to me because those kind of shades, like those blushes, like those red, like pigmented blushes, they look scary, but on people with like my skin tone or darker, they look gorgeous on. They look so pretty on as blushes. And so I thought that this was like, I thought the color was gonna look like this, but it ended up really being more of like a peachy pink shade, which is, that's not what I typically go for. I did try to use it on my cheeks, like, I don't really know if you can even see it or if you can tell, like, that it's on, but I did use that on my cheeks today because I wanted to try it out, but um, I don't know if I'm really going to like this. It, it is kind of chalky, like, when I swatched it, like, it swatches kind of chalky to me, but maybe, maybe I'm tripping. This is what it looks like, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll give you guys an update on this. Next thing I got was from Anastasia. She was having a sale on her blushes and her lip products. So I ended up getting a liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Ashton. And honestly, I've tried, I'm just now trying her liquid lipsticks. I tried, the first one I tried was called Poison. And to be completely honest, I absolutely hated it. Like it was patchy, it just didn't work out for me. I wanted to give it a try again, so I tried like more of a new neutral shade, and this is called Ashton. I think I'm gonna like this one. I hope it works out a lot better, because I really love Anastasia's products. So this is what it looks like. This is Ashton. And then I also wanted to try out some of her matte, um, matte lipsticks. She actually launched it when the Subculture palette launched which I bought and unfortunately it didn't work out for me so I ended up selling mine on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, I did a review on that so if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it above right now. I wanted to try out some of her matte um, lipsticks and yeah, I didn't know which one to get. I didn't know if I was gonna like them. And then I saw this set. You get six shades and you get Plum Maria, Dusty Mob, Ruby, Latte, Peachy, and Brandy. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna try to show you guys on the back. But yeah, these are like the little mini versions. So I thought this would be a good way to try them out and see if I like the formulation, um, see if what shades I really like, and then if I find some shades that I like, then I'll probably buy the full size version. I also purchased uh, two things from MAC. I didn't really buy a lot on there, obviously, but um, they were having 25% off for their members select members, I don't know what it's called, whatever. I just got an email saying that I could get 25% off, so I was like, okay, yeah. So I just restocked on my Fix Plus. This is just like a staple in my collection, and I was like, 25% off? Yeah, girl, I'll take it. And then I also got this Pro Longwear paint pot, and this is in Soft Ochre, and I hear so many people here on YouTube using this like for their eyeshadow base. Also been looking for something like a, a really good eyeshadow base, that my eyeshadows will stick to and then it'll make it a lot more pigmented because currently I've been using the Urban Decay um, primer potion and it's okay but I just kind of want to try something new so that's why I got this. They also let me pick out five samples so I got like strobe cream, I got some, what else did I get? I got all kinds of stuff. It's cute little samples like I got I have some of them. Let me see. Base. So I got to pick out five little samples so I'll probably find some other stuff that I like. Next up, I have some stuff from Dose of Colors. I got their liquid lipsticks. I got three of them. So I'll go ahead and swatch them for you because the bottle is frosted. So I've never gotten anything from Dose of Colors, so I was really excited. I've always wanted to try um, their products because I hear really good things about them. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it. So it's like a really pretty, like, neutral brown shade. I also got, what is this called, Brick. This is what it looks like. Swatch Brick. Here is Brick. So pretty. That's my kind of shade. And then I also was looking for like a berry color. This one, it's called Berry Me. 
so that's very me. So these are the three colors I got. I think I'm really gonna like them. Um, I hope I do. The packaging is really cute. I really love their packaging. And then, so they were having a really good sale on their lips, lip products. I think all lip products. So I definitely wanted to try some stuff out. And then I also got a lipstick from the Katie Desi collection. And it's called More Creamer Please. Like I've been eyeballing it, trying to see like what I wanted to get out of their collection. So I'm really glad that they um, restocked these and then had them on sale as well. So this is just like a pretty nude shade. It's so pretty. And their packaging is so cute. It's got their little signatures on it. But that is More Creamer Please. Okay, so the last thing kind of like for the holidays that I got was this jacket from Carly Bible's collection. Um, it's just a denim, black denim jacket, and I don't know if you can really see it, but I'll insert uh, something right here so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, this, this, this is a size 12, and I really wanted it to fit big, so I did like go up a few sizes, because she did say that it's gonna fit really big, so like I think she said her mom was normally a 12, but could fit the size four jacket. So yeah, it definitely runs big, and she was not lying when she said that, because this is kind of like swallows me. It's pretty big, like look at this. Look at how much room I have. So it, it it's pretty big. Um, definitely wasn't expecting it to be this big, like I wanted it to be oversized, but not this oversized. But I can work with it. I thought it was cute. I really, really wanted the, the blue denim one, but it got sold out. So I said I'll get this one. But I think I can create a cute outfit with this, even though it's kind of like big, bigger than what I was like wanting. But yeah, it just has like pearls and like studs all over it. Um, it's pretty heavy and it has some rips in it as well. Like, I don't know if you can see right here but yeah it's pretty like heavy <laughs> so this is definitely not like an everyday jacket and it's like extra it's so extra so this is something that I would wear like out or like maybe to an event I don't go to events but yeah like maybe for the holidays I don't know but this is definitely not something that I'd like wear to work or like <laughs> just out on a normal day uh, but yeah, I thought it was cute and I'll definitely make it work. All right guys, so that was my holiday haul. That's everything I got Black Friday and then just holiday sales in general, things online. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys got for your holiday sales. And I'll see you guys in the next video.